हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड द प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज ऑफ योर क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग कंसेप्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द प्रैक्टिकल डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ द रिमोट मेथड इन वोकेशन सो डू रिमेंबर आर एम आई इज वन ऑफ द कंसेप्ट अवेलेबल इन जावा इट प्रोवाइड्स अ सेट ऑफ ए पी आई आर एम आई हैज सेट ऑफ ए पी आई दैट परफॉर्म्स रिमोट मेथड इन्वोकेशन वट डू यू मीन बाई रिमोट मेथड इन्वोकेशन एज वी कैन सी हेयर वी हैव अ रिमोट मशीन राइट दैट इज योर मशीन बी एंड देर इज अ मशीन ए विच इज योर कॉलर मशीन दिस मशीन ए कॉल इन्वोक वट डू मीन बाई इन्वोक इट विल कॉल the remote method or remote object that is available on machine b so this is the basic uh, definition of the rmi so what is the difference between rmi and rpc we also have a concept of rpc remote procedure call rpc is specially designed for the procedural oriented programming where we do not require any object to call the procedure but since rmi is a remote method invocation so we call the method with the help of object without object in rmi we are not able to call the methods so this is the basic working of your rmi so let us start with the practical demonstration of your uh, remote method invocation okay now uh, for rmi implementation the first is to create a interface file we have to first create a interface file so we require some uh, packages for the rmi implementation so the first package is your import java.io.star this is first package now we import java.rmi.star and then import java.rmi dot server dot star so these are the three packages that are required for the rmi implementation so now the first file that is uh, created in the rmi implementation is your interface file so we first create a interface public interface and now i am creating a interface so this is my date time enter which implements implements remote class interface which implements which extends remote class so what is remote it is a class which is available in java.rmi uh, package and this remote class is basically used to provide a remote access that means the method which is resides on reside on the other machine we can call it remotely so this is the interface file now we will create a list of abstract method in interface file so i am creating a method string this is my return type of the method and get date time name of my method then throws exception so since it is an interface date time enter is an interface so we are creating a abstract method abstract method is a method which are terminated with the semicolon so this get, get date and time is an abstract method of interface date time enter so this is my first file now we save this file just uh, save the file with this name date time enter now i am saving the file in e drive just create a folder rmi date time rmi so this is my folder now then dot java with the extension dot java all files so this is my first file now we create a second file this is your implementation file again we have to import java.io.star then we have to import java.io.star 
rmi dot star and then import java dot rmi dot server dot star so these are the three packages now we create a class public class date time enter implementation impl which extends there is a one more class unicast remote object and this class implements date time enter so do remember the class date time date time impl first inherits the unicast remote object right which is a class which is available in java.rmi package and this class implements the interface jo hum log ne pehle bana ke rakha this is my interface right we have to implement this interface here okay so now next we create a constructor of this class which is your date time impl and throws exception Within constructor we call super. So in Java super is basically this keyword is basically used to call the base class constructor. That means the unicast remote object is a base class of the date time IMPL. So this will invoke or this will create the unicast remote object in the system, in the memory. Now. next part we 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 had implemented this uh, interface that is your date time interface right so in this we have a method right this is my method so we have to override this method in the derived class we have to override this and we return in java we have a date class date d equals to new date and then we return d dot to string since date is a class in java but that class is available in package that is your java dot util dot star so util package mein this date class is defined so we have to first import java dot util package then we create a object of the date class and we returning the d d is a date but we are returning the method the method return type is your string therefore we convert this date into string form using a method dot to string so this is my uh, implementation file now we save this file with this name control s then dot So this is this is my second file. Now again we create a third file. So in RMI we have to create a four files. So now the third file is your server file, Java. That again we have to import the packages. Then import Java. Dot RMI. Dot RMI. Dot star first, and then import Java. Dot RMI. Dot server. Dot star. Now we create a class public. Class, date, time, server, and this is the actual class that we execute. Therefore, we have to write the entry point of program execution, which is your public static void main string args again throws exception. So do remember one more thing here: the server is basically. Uh, created so that we can give the service to the client then server uses the implementation file which is your date time impl so first server will create the object of the implementation file which is your date time impl object equals to new date time impl so we already have a two files this is my interface file then implementation so the implementation file uses the server which provides the service to the client and the interface file is used by the client 
which gets the service from the server so we first create in server file we first create the object of the implementation file and we have a naming class dot bind now we bind the service in using a name abc and obj so what what does this line will do do remember naming is a class and bind is a method which will bind the service uh, into the uh, rmi registry so during jo uh, bind karega using this name abc this is my common public name any client that wants to call the service of the server right client has to use this abc and abc ko bind kar diya hai with obj that means we have a date time impl this is an object and and in date time impl as we can see we have a get date time method so it will call the date time method and after this we will write system dot out dot print ln and waiting for client this is my server file now we save this file again copy paste dot java and select all file now we create a last file that is your client file again these packages are same so i am just copying this packages now public class date time client again since we are executing the client so we have to write the public static void main entry point of your program execution args then throws exception now what is the responsibility of the client to so client will create a object of date time enter obj and client will search the services available in the rmi registry so do remember we already register the service hai right? na we already bind the service right in the rmi registry with the name abc aur ye abc ke sath kisko bind kiya hai obj so here we first naming dot lookup so client kya karega it will look up the service the name of your service is a b c so this is already binded hai na in the registry and this service will will we will type cast this service into date time enter so this is basically used to look up the service so do remember server will uh, bind the service and client will look up the service now with the help of this obj we can call the methods so just uh, system dot out dot print ln now we write date time is with the help of this obj dot we can call the services of obj obj is an object of date time impl so in date time impl we have date time impl mein hamare paas get date time service is available so we call get date time so this will call the date time method of the server so now we save this file again save dot java and then so these are the four files that we have to create in rmi now go to the path where we store all the practicals right all the codes right jo hum log ne store kiya hai wahan pe hum log ko jana hai so this is my rmi data these are the files so right here we start with the cmd this is my first cmd for rmi we requires two cmds do cmd open karna hai humko okay this is my second and this one is your first okay 
So now we first set the path of the Java. Path equals to then go to the C drive. This we see C drive program files and go to the Java JDK and then bin. Just copy this file, this path, and right click paste. This is the path setting. Then again. P A T H part again set the part on the second command prompt. Yes. Then C L S clear screen and then C L S clear screen. So we have to first set the path for the Java. Now we compile all the files. This is my next step. Compile all the files. This is my date time interface. We first compile date time interface. Import package Java. There is a one spelling mistake. We have to write Java and save it. Then again CLS compile it. No error. Now next Java C. Now next we compile the implementation file. No error. Then Java C. Then we have to compile the server file. Throws exception. There is a one error here, as we can see here. You know, cannot find symbol. Which symbol? Class exception, right? We do uh, again. There is a one spelling mistake in the server file. Exception. And save it. Again compile. No error. Then Java C. Then we compile the client file. So these are the four files. So the the next step is. To compile all the files, right? Now, the step number six, right? The first first four step: create interface file, create implementation file, server file, and then client file. These are the four steps. Now, fifth is your compile all the file. Now, sec sixth step is your generate stub and skeleton file. R M I C. So, the command used for that you have to write R M I C and the name of the implementation file. Without any extension, this will generate the stub and skeleton file. So now we just check the folder, right? Here we have a stub file. So this is a file which is responsible to uh, create an interaction or to create a virtual link between client and server, so that client will invoke the methods of the server. So this is responsible for that. Okay. Now we start the RMI registry. Why? Because all the services are registered in RMI, na. So, हम लोग को क्या करना पड़ेगा? We have to start RMI registry. Start RMI registry. So as we can see here, this is my RMI registry. dot exe is executing. Just minimize it. Now we run the server. Java date time server. We just execute the server file. It will show waiting for the client. See, waiting for the client. Now we execute on the second command prompt. We execute the client without any extension. So as you can see here, it will return the date and time. So these are all the steps, right, for the RMI program. I hope you understood this session. Thank you.